Hello guys, welcome to Slow Motion VFX. So today let's talk about Unity and item pickup with sound. So it sounds very easy, but actually a lot of people have uh, issue with this, especially because they are destroying the object and then there's no uh, sound. So let's get into it. So here's the basic scene. I have my little player here. This little shield here will represent a coin. If I just uh, hit the play button, Right now, it will only rotate. My player can move back and forward, jump. Nothing really fancy about this. So let's look at what we have. So on the coin here itself, there's a sprite render on it. And uh, there's a little rotate sp uh, script on it. It's basically just rotated on the y-axis here. And then uh, you have a coin pickup uh, script, which is uh, empty at the moment. So let's dig into the code. So Let's get into the code for actually doing this. What we need is, of course, uh, audio clip. So let's get that. Okay, when we have that, let's uh, set up uh, the collision. And this will be uh, on collision into 2D. So we tag the play our player, the Sawman. We tagged him uh, with a tag called player. So we're basically saying here that if the collision with the uh, game object uh, with a tag player if that hits this coin, then something should happen here, right? And here's the magic. So just save this, go back. What we will be needing is some sort of a collider. So I'm just going to use a simple circle collider 2D, right? So in here, what you're going to say is you're going to say game object. So what we're seeing is that when this uh, player hits the collides with the coin, then what's going to happen is that we're going to look at the game object uh, with the component sprite render and it's going to label, it's going to set it to false and the same thing with the circle collider it's going to label that to false so it means basically uh, you can run through it but it's still there in the scene, it's not destroyed so we want to destroy it of course and we want to destroy it like after maybe one second and now we just need to add our, uh, our audio in there so for this, I'm using the play one shot method, which works really good. Start method, actually get the component for the source, for the audio source. And this would be it actually, what we have right now. So let's save it. And of course, what we need is also add an audio source. And uh, people get uh, also confused about the audio source that you're dragging in your audio clip into this source here. It doesn't need that. You're just gonna put your sound clip into this uh, play coin sound, which we declared in here, which is a play coin sound. That one. I'm just gonna use the sound file I got from a production crate, and then go into your coin. Make sure that in the audio source, disable play on wake, and hit play. Let's see what's gonna happen. And there it is. Really, really easy, right? If you want to add a, a cool particle effect to it, then go up here, add a public game object, my prefab, like so. And then down here, you're going to declare, you're going to instantiate that prefab, right? So go in and instantiate. Okay, so we are instantiating my prefab, which we declare up here. And we're doing it at, at the transform, at the position of the coin. And we are setting it to a rotation here. Uh, we're setting no rotation here. And uh, then we, of course, want to destroy it. But to be able to destroy it on an easy way, because it's going to create a lot of clones, let's make it a game object here. And let's just call it FX equals. And then down here, destroy. Destroy. FX and let's do it like after two units like so save it go back okay so now we have this uh, empty slot here for my prefab you're just gonna drag in a prefab uh, whatever particle effect you wanna you wanna put in there I'm gonna do this magic pillow blast let's put that in okay okay let's play it let's see what we got Okay, cool, that's it, 
Thank you very much for watching, guys. If you like it, please uh, hit the subscribe button. That will really help me a lot. And also leave a comment if you want to see something else. Thank you, guys. Cheers.